All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Smithify Podcast, episode number seven. And today I'm joined by a longtime real life friend, Mr. OMG at Screenmeyer. Hello, sir. <laughs> Howdy, how's it going? It's going good, man. OMG, wasn't that? Did you get your name from Ali A? How'd that go? Uh, yeah, I like to think he got it from me, but I guess in terms <laughs> of timeline, he probably had it first. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, the old Xbox username. <laughs> yeah, the the idea was I wanted people to uh, sound excited when they saw my name, like, so, OMG, it's Greenmeyer. Yeah, so I guess but... every time anybody read your name, they sounded excited. So you succeeded in a way. But yeah. Kind of. But anyways, it's it's currently 9 o'clock in the morning and we're recording this right now. I mean, I want to be honest with you, this is the earliest I've ever been up this entire quarantine. I usually get up at like 10. <laughs> and I'm really... Yeah, it's been... It's been tough t- trying to keep my sleep schedule in in line. I got, I went to bed at like one one a.m. last night. Yeah, the thing I kind of forgot about this. If I like don't have anything to do the next day, I like can't get myself to go to bed until like two a.m. And I haven't had anything to do the next day for multiple days now. <laughs> so I yeah, I go to bed at like two a.m. every every single morning. That is morning, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, we've been. <laughs> You've been streaming a lot of Minecraft, too. That's probably part oh, yeah. of it. That's a grind. Those streams are crazy. I just start going on them, and the next thing I know, they're four hours long. <laughs> just, just The time really flies by when I grind those things out. Uh, Minecraft's one of those games where uh, you lose track of time very easily, especially if you get into a Jesus. project. Yeah. Yeah. Have it, you've been grinding, haven't you, recently? <laughs> you've been playing yeah. hours. We have this world. Uh, we call it Zootopia. So it's a it's a completely survival world, and our goal is to capture, if possible, two mobs of of either uh, neutral, uh, hostile, or peaceful mobs. So like we got pandas in our zoo, we had husks in our zoo, and we're trying to capture so everything. Everything in Noah's Ark. Have two pretty much. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Oh yeah, you showed me your house too. That's pretty sick. Is, yeah, we're here at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm used to recording these at like midnight, which I think is a problem. I should probably be recording these earlier, but <laughs> I usually do that because it doesn't cause interruptions. But we're good here. It's it's 9 o'clock. Let's get into it. All right. Would you say you're a morning person? You know, uh, all my years of you know wrestling and football, I've kind of had to become a morning person because of all the morning lifts and the morning workouts. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I notice you, you go to all the weightlifting sessions, and some of those you have to get up at like 5.34, which that's one of the reasons why I failed to get there. <laughs> the other reason is I hate lifting, but yeah, that's, that's your morning yeah. question. Would you say you're, I, are you your best in the morning? Am I my best in the morning? No, yeah. probably no. not. <laughs> well, it depends. Like I'm more of a mid-morning. Like I don't like getting up at like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. I'm like that eight o'clock nine o'clock morning person mm-hmm. yeah. uh, I, I do like breakfast sandwiches so that's a huge part of why i'm a morning person <laughs> <laughs> yeah i suppose man there's nothing better than like getting a bunch of work done before noon so i'd say i'm kind of a morning person but like i just like to get work done before noon and that just makes me feel great for the rest of the day so <laughs> in that sense i am but i really don't like getting up early so i don't really know i'm in the middle <laughs> but anyways Greeny, we are currently in the middle of the coronavirus. And <laughs> as you being a senior, how do you feel knowing that the rest of your year has been ruined by the coronavirus? You know, I was waiting for that senior skip day, to be honest, and, <laughs> and it, it's it came. Here. It's here a little early. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to, like, well, for example, track for me. Like, I'm very fortunate to have been able to finish my football and wrestling careers. Like, obviously, like, the NCAA wrestlers, they didn't get to finish their careers. Mm -hmm. But I got to finish mine. But I never thought I would miss track as much as I did. But now, like, that I'm faced with just sitting in my basement all day, every day, doing assignments and homework and video games, it's like, (laughs) man, what would I give to throw right now? Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of the exact opposite of what Nacho said. He's also a senior, and he was just like, I don't really care, <laughs> which I thought crazy because I mean, I mean, to be honest, like right now, I don't really care that I'm missing out on all this stuff. But if I was a senior, I think I'd care a little bit at least. But yeah, I guess we're faced with the uh, 
I mean, I don't know where everything's at right now, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to assume we're not going to go back to school for the rest of the year. Yeah, that's a safe but assumption, I'd, I'd say. I think so. I, I just don't know what we're going to do for, like, graduation. Roblox? <laughs> that's some people <laughs> Maybe, do. Ho- hopefully we can go on my Zootopia world and just do a <laughs> Minecraft epic. graduation. I mean, that could happen. Some people are doing it on Roblox and Minecraft and Zoom calls. I have seen that. I have seen that. The Chinese are using robots, so (laughs) you can't count anything out. Are we going to do anything, Uh, or are they just going to hand you your diploma and just be like, all right, uh, you're gone? So from the meeting I I was in with uh, the principals and stuff, they basically said, if it comes down, we're we're not going to plan like that right now. We'll reevaluate at at the middle of May, beginning of May. And if it comes down to like a worst case scenario, we will find a way to get you your diplomas and not just mail them to you. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they're just going to hand deliver them to each person. <laughs> well, maybe that's a rip though. You guys, you guys are kind of cursed. I'm sorry. Like you guys were all born in like 2001 pretty much. And that was nine 11 and now you're graduating <laughs> and now we have the <laughs> coronavirus. So pretty much. So I'm thinking we should just base the next like tragedy off when you guys like graduate college or something. Because the chances are it'll happen <laughs> when you guys graduate college. So in four <laughs> years, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you guys are cursed. I, but yeah, I would have been. I don't know. See, I was born in May of two thousand one. So, yeah. geez, how old would I have been when nine eleven happened? Not, I would have been like months. a couple <laughs> months. Yeah, would you say it's we're crazy overreacting to the whole coronavirus thing, or is it appropriate? Or what's your take? I do believe. The media has blown some parts of it out of proportion. Yeah, I can um, see that. They, I mean, the media has a way of making their own agenda and twisting the the truth. And it's hard to find what the actual truths about it are. It's um, one of those things where, like, you can't deny that people are dying because of it. But yeah. I know there was a case where uh, somebody had some stage of cancer and she caught the coronavirus and then died. It's like... No, she didn't die because of the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. She died because of the complications with cancer that the coronavirus had on it. And the way mm-hmm. they word it sometimes, it's just hard to mm-hmm. to know what the truth is. Yeah, because like people would be dying but from other causes while they have the coronavirus, and they'd be counting those as deaths. So mm-hmm. we, really, we really don't know much. There's, we really don't know who to believe. Exactly. And so, yeah, like definitely don't believe China. I blame China for everything. Trying to be pushed. Uh, I would have to agree. Uh, they were claiming that they weren't like ground zero for it. Yeah, but yeah, I think no. they were pretty much no. guilty. They're guilty. Yes, I don't. I don't like China, man. China's scary. They're a threat. I think. But <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right. It's a shame. All the sports got canceled, and it's a shame because you were going on to win state and shot put, weren't you? You were. Oh, it was the plan. <laughs> was what the plan. I have, probably not. I had to make it to state first, and that was a long <laughs> shot. <laughs> Brings us to the next college. Your next step after high school, you are going to throw shot put at college, correct? Yes, I am. I it's, signed recently. It's good stuff. And would you say you're extremely excited about this? Is this something that you've always wanted to do? I see you as a big sports guy, so I'm sure you probably wanted to play a college sport somewhere, and I'd assume you're pretty happy that you got this opportunity. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I always you know when i'd lay in bed and like dream about it i thought i'd always be in like a football uniform yeah but but here we are with track hey man. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with track <laughs> i, mean, I know i just less, i don't know like do people even go out to college track meets i don't really know man i think parents <laughs> <laughs> well mean... at the level of college i'm at probably just parents <laughs> okay well <laughs> I mean, hey, if there was one close, like really close by in town, I'd go to it. I think that'd be fun to watch college athletes. Track I think is... there's going to be some in Fargo. That's too far. <laughs> 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 it has to be in this town, and then I'll go watch. <laughs> oh, you want one in Oaks, a college track meet in Oaks. <laughs> <laughs> if, that, if we can make that happen somehow, yes, preferably. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. track's one of those sports, man. I really, I really respect the people that grind it. The runners, anyway. I'm sorry. I don't really respect your... I mean, I do, but... I just feel like <laughs> your throwing is much easier, but nevertheless. <laughs> Congratulations on that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. After you win nationals. 
<laughs> oh, I don't know about that. We're one. slowly progressing here. What's the next step after nationals? I've been. You want to be a phi ed teacher? That's what. That's what I've been told. By uh, elementary education. Elementary education. So I could, it could include that, I guess, if mm -hmm. I were to major in that. Mm -hmm. Elementary education. Would you think about becoming like a coach or? Uh, yeah, that'd like probably that? that'd probably be the the very second step right after getting elementary at being a coach. Mo most high schools, are at, and middle schools, I guess, they look for teachers that have that dual threat opportunity of teaching and coaching. Mm-hmm. That's you. That's gonna be me. That's all you. And yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna plan to stay here. Or you're gonna go to a different state. North. We're currently in North Dakota. Where are you gonna head out to? It's. I think for the most part, I'm gonna stay in North Dakota for as long as I can. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really have any desire to leave. I I will definitely stay within, uh, yeah. Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota, that area. Mm-hmm. Just a couple states. Yep. Yeah, see that. Do you ever like? plan on going beyond elementary and like i don't know athletic director i could see you doing that you like sports a lot you could do something like that yeah i Is think uh i think for the you know and you know it's not about the money when it comes to teaching so i don't know yet we'll see like you know how i like the students how i like the teaching mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna love the coaching i know that part for sure yeah, yeah i could see that mm -hmm. all right well one of the main reasons I got this podcast is for self-reflection. So what I want to do right now is I want you to set a few goals for yourself because in a year from now, hey, you're going to be looking back at this. You're going to be like, did I accomplish these? And if you say it on the podcast, it means you have to do it. So you can hold yourself oh, to it. So, <laughs> you know, just like those, where do you see yourself in a couple of your questions, those kind of things that we did in our leadership class. So <laughs> short term, long term, say some goals. Let's see it. You say it, you got to accomplish it. All right. So are we considering short term, like a year to two years sure, in the just, future yeah just say whatever you want all right yeah, whatever uh, you want to I, get out. I guess for short term <laughs> i uh i really would like to see myself you know increasing the distance that i throw <laughs> since uh, i don't want to be the <laughs> worst one on the team so how far do you throw right now <laughs> um i have thrown 40s in practice i kind of choke when it comes to meets <laughs> it's all good and like what would it, what would winning nationals have to be <laughs> uh well they use a 16 pound shot uh, so it's well i get it's roughly 16 pounds it's they measure it in kilograms mm -hmm. but i don't know probably like 60 <laughs> i don't it's, it's just a rough hey, i don't really know much about track. <laughs> you just gotta believe bro you just gotta believe all right throw farther that's a simple throw one. farther um, I want to maintain a uh, an A average at college. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can. I could see you doing that pretty easily. I just gotta, I just gotta listen in class and take notes and study hard for tests. That's probably. I, I feel like if I uh, do that, I'll be set set up pretty good. I mean, you could probably just cheat a lot. That helps, but <laughs> you're not wrong. I don't know. Study hard. I mean, yeah. You can do that too. I was trying to motivate us. Come on, yeah, come I'm on. Sorry. We don't, we don't cheat sorry, here. Man. It's too easy nowadays to cheat. <laughs> Absolutely everything. I mean, like, I don't want to expose myself, but I was taking a math <laughs> test, and I don't know. There was some <laughs> passing around of answers going on while we were taking the online math test. But uh, anyway, oh, it's not <laughs> cheating if you're just passing them around. I mean, if everybody gets it, that's it's right. not an advantage. That's right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Sheeler, if you're listening for some reason. I'm sorry, but you should probably expect those things to be happening. Anyways, <laughs> all right. Get A's. Throw throw farther. What else do we got? <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I'd like to I'd like to lose a little bit of weight. Uh, I just I, I've been saying that for years and I've never done it. But hopefully this podcast <laughs> okay, well, will make me go. All right, you got to do it now. You got the motivation to lift. Why don't you just get the motivation to start running? <laughs> I don't know, man. In. It's just running. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it too. And I'm I'm long distance in track, so. <laughs> Is track one of those sports that just nobody really does it for the sport? They just do it for like the social interactions. I don't. I feel like it kind of is. Uh, I don't really. I'd say seventy-five percent of the people you ask would say yes. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I do it for like the basketball games we play at practice. That's about it. That is the best, and I miss <laughs> those so much. Those are so much fun, dude. Oh my god, the pickup basketball games. It's actually nothing. I even miss the open gyms. Yeah, I went to a few of those. 
but yeah is that is that all we got for goals uh long-term goal i'd mm-hmm. like i'd like to uh since i'd ever won a state championship in my first year of teaching i would like to coach a state champion in something your first year first year you gotta start off good the rookie comes out mm-hmm. that's tough you're gonna coach wrestling football what are you thinking um i'll I'll coach whatever they want me to if golf. they got tennis i'll coach tennis <laughs> golf yeah you grind yeah i suppose <laughs> i might i might need to find a really good athlete though like uh somebody who's already won four state titles and then just start recruiting people. come in hey, man, you gotta, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best coach he's got to recruit people build your team up pretty much all right did you say that's about it for goals yeah all right, win goals, get A's, throw farther. All right, now in a year you can look back and see if you did that or if you're failing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I believe in you. Those, I think you could do all those, to be honest. They're, I think they're pretty manageable. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, we got we to gotta get to the inspiration side. Who who inspires you? Who do you look up to to be, to go into elementary education? Probably like our science teacher, Mr. Shaw, or... Would yeah, say, I would say yeah. him. I would say him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mr. Scholl, you should, he's your wrestling coach. He was our elementary teacher. He was he's regarded as one of the best like people in the school system to be honest, I'd say. Uh, well, he was considered one of the best coaches in the nation too. I forget what award it was, but he was nominated for coach of the year in like in the entirety of the nation, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> so he's also got that going for him, but he stays loyal and he stays in the small town in North Dakota, which he could probably go on to teach or to coach at like some big colleges couldn't he i mean with that honor probably i can. think so i think he could probably do it if he wanted to but he's got the hunting lodge too yeah yeah he's good stuff so him anybody else Just... uh i guess as for like elementary no but i always try to like model how i play after brett Favre. oh yeah there we go what's brett Favre's motto i don't know he like he's just <laughs> that that guy that's tough and doesn't give yeah. up easy. He always has fun while playing the game. Mm-hmm. And he'll still be playing when you're like 40, 45. Probably. I don't even know how old he was. He was like 40 or did he get 45? I think he was, I think he was like 41, 42 when he retired. Uh, yeah. He retired like three times. <laughs> he did. <laughs> All right. Advice you have for younger classmen. Mm. Please. I just answered this question the other day on the radio. Uh, on the radio. Yeah. So the best advice I can give anybody, and it's going to sound cliche. It is. Yeah, but no. it's really true. You you really need to treat every moment like it's your last. I mean, not just like you're going to die last, but <laughs> like for yeah. like for track. I never thought I was going to miss it as much as I did. So I'm very fortunate I get to go continue it in my college career. But some people, they don't get it after this these four years of high school. So if they left their last moment where they didn't try their hardest or the, the NCAA wrestlers, they left their last moment, they didn't try their hardest, they're going to have to live with that for a really long time, and it's going to bother them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've, I've never, not, never heard that advice before. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, yeah, it is cliche, <laughs> but it is very true. It is, it's, it is said very often, but like. I don't know, man. It just has to keep being said. <laughs> just to make people sure. don't believe it, but I, I never believed it. And then, like, <laughs> now I'm here. Year, I'm like... Yeah, and now you're... You might have to graduate on Roblox now. So that's where we are. <laughs> Is that really a downgrade, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd actually be really cool. <laughs> I would be in How the many audience. people can say they graduated on Roblox? <sighs> that's the thing, man. Wow. Never thought about it that way. <laughs> I guess a lot of people now, though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> but nevertheless, yeah. Well, that's kind of all the like deep questions I got for you. you got anything else? Any other questions? Or are we just gonna hop right into gaming? <laughs> yeah, I think we can hop right into gaming, man. All right. So that's the first twenty minutes, guys. I mean, future Greeny, if you're watching this right now, I hope you achieve those goals. And future me listening, take his advice because you're probably about to graduate, but maybe on Roblox. But you never know. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> all right. I don't even know how, because you and me, I mean, I talk about our old YouTube channel a lot on the channel to people who are listening. The Gaming Ninja Turtles. Nobody knows, but you were the one who came up with that name <laughs> all the way back in 2013. I remember like it was yesterday. We were on a junior high football bus coming back right after 
I scored a fumble recovery for a touchdown. <laughs> I do remember. I was this. like, I was like, hey, what if we made a YouTube channel? <laughs> And I, I think originally I wanted Gaming Ninja Tacos, but somebody else had that YouTube name. <laughs> yeah. That was, like, yeah. decently big. It was something like that, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, that's it. We can each be, like, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo. <laughs> the Gaming Ninja Tacos. Yeah. And then, uh, behold, the Gaming Ninja Turtles were born. <laughs> yeah, we, we created it. Uh, we didn't, we didn't uh, upload consistently for uh, a long right. time. Yeah, that was a rip. It was fun, though. I love those videos so much. Like, if those videos were ever to get deleted, I would probably start crying. Like, like, There's some good ones. I look at them as, like, my life's work, to be honest. <laughs> like, they're really all that I've done, that I've, like, actually you're, accomplished. <laughs> you're, you're Picasso, and you're looking at your artwork yeah. hanging out. <laughs> I love them. And, like, I haven't graduated yet, so I could say those are my life. So far, that's my life's work, is my old YouTube channel <laughs> and the videos I made on there. No, there's some good ones some good what's times. your favorite one on there if you had to pick one? Oh, okay it's it's probably the like revelations one where i start singing at the end <laughs> you know that one i don't know why but i, I, I love that video i thought it was just so well done and i don't even care that i start singing at the end i think it's not even a bad song <laughs> i don't think it's that bad but yeah do you, uh, you have one in particular i have to say probably there's two of them that come to mind. <laughs> uh, three of them. There's three of them that are tough for me. All right, what uh, Greenmeyer clutched with the kill confirmed game. <laughs> it would have been a lot cooler if it was a little like if we would have had the Elgato yeah, when it, we it made was that. With an iPod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just remember playing in that game, and I like saw the tag to tie the game, and I was like, I got, it. <laughs> and I came up short, and I was like, you, oh. Yeah, and you dolphin dive for it, and the game ended <laughs> mid dolphin dive, and you just fell to the ground. <laughs> it's actually epic. <laughs> uh, Greenmeyer is a wizard. That's a Greenmeyer's a wizard. The subscriber special. Oh, that one. I like actually. I guess the Greenmeyer starts conversations was good stuff. Okay, yeah, it was. That one was really good. We just went into Black Ops two lobbies and just had you talk to people. It was actually, <laughs> it was actually pretty well done, I thought. And we promised part two coming five years ago, and we don't have part two yet, so. <laughs> Whoops. Maybe maybe one of these days, guys, we'll make Greenmeyer talks to people. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Can you give us a little a teaser here? Is that going to happen? Or <laughs> <clears throat> we'll see, you guys. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I I do have a busy schedule now with all this quarantine stuff. I only have about I nine hours a day to play games. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's tough. It's tough to find time. I understand. <laughs> Anyways, how did how did we get even into playing Call of Duty? I don't even know, man. Like. How did we? Uh, I don't even know. Like, how did we even know each other when we were younger? I don't even know, man. So, like, I think it really started. Was, if I had to guess, it was because of football. To be honest, because yeah, we were both too. in football at a young age. Yeah, we went to the same church too. That could be it. Okay, yeah, maybe that too. That, actually, that's probably more that <laughs> that would have got us involved younger. Is. And then, yeah, and then we just started grinding Black Ops too. Oh, man. I wonder what motivated me to start making videos, but I don't know. And then, behold, the Game of Ninja were born, and then it was good times. And Why was Black Ops 2 so good? <laughs> why was that game so good? You know, I think a lot of it is the maps were so original, and the maps were so good. Yeah, it was like all original content. Yeah. And for me, I think it, like, it pleased all the fan bases. Like the trick shotters were happy. The high round zombie players were happy. The casual zombie players were happy. The sweats. Like everybody could just hop into Black Ops 2 and have a good time. So, yeah. And the campaign was all right, too. I, I didn't. I, I think the campaign was cool that there was multiple endings. Yeah, I've never played it. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> you're only you're really a little late. That's tough. I've never played any of them, to be honest. I never have. I just never got into them. Uh, the Black Ops 3 campaign was terrible. Terrible. Which means I should probably go back and play like all the campaigns sometime. Because <laughs> my reaction will be like, I will have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so that'd be good stuff. I really did like the zombies in Black Ops 2. The maps. I didn't like Die Rise that much. I think Die Rise gets more hate than what it is. It's decent. It's not terrible. It's alright. I just die a lot on there because I fall off the map. Yeah, to be honest with you, I think Black Ops 3 Zombies is better. 
<clears throat> I would, I would, I would buy honest. that. The maps are just so good. There's, there's a lot to them in Black Ops Three, and they look great. And I think I could play all of them to be honest, and not get bored. Whereas Black Ops Two, I don't want to play like Town, Transit. Actually, you know, no. what? now that I think, if I could honestly play like any zombies map just because it's zombies and have fun on it. Yeah. But back in the day, I, I think those. To. Those maps are more for casual players too. The the guys that just want to hop on and play like a game to round thirty, and be done. Mhm. Mm yeah. I mean, there's kind of some of that in Black Ops Three. We got the giant. You could do that on there. That's really about it, though. All the other maps are pretty yeah. complex. <laughs> That's just how it is. I think. I think if you compare the worst map from Black Ops Three to the worst map in Black Ops Two, so for this, I'm gonna take yeah. Zetsubo and uh, <clears throat> Die Rise and compare them. Oh, he didn't even take th transit. Okay, I think transit <laughs> was better. such a cool concept. Yeah, I know it has so much more potential. It needs to be remastered for sure. The the wonder weapon. Okay, yeah, the wonder weapon <laughs> really ruined transit. <laughs> yeah, it was terrible. The jet gun is terrible. <laughs> just the it fact is... that if you use it too much, it breaks, and you have to rebuild it is just awful. That was a yeah, terrible. And idea. it's not even. They don't even drop all the parts in one spot. It like blows up across the map. And half the time the parts are glitched out, and it, it was a terrible idea. Whoever came up with that should have been fired. But yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, Black Ops 3 Zombies is better than BO2. We, we agree. I think so. But is Black Ops I, Black Ops 2 is the better COD though? See, I wouldn't even say that. I really enjoyed Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I know. I, I agree with you. I think Black Ops 3 is very close to being better than Black Ops 2. Like very close. And some people think that's crazy, but I don't know, man. Like, Black Ops 3 was such a full game. There was so much content in it. I think the maps at the end of Black Ops 3 for multiplayer, I think that's what ruined it for Black, for Black Ops 3 to be a better game. The, the food map with the picnic table <laughs> and the giant pies, it was just weird. It wasn't Call of Duty. They were just giving up. Yeah. Yeah, the DLCs are terrible. I can't name one single good DLC map, I don't think. Splash, the pirate yeah, ship that, map. That map was okay. I wouldn't say that's amazing. It wasn't amazing, but it was probably the best one. Yeah, okay, well, if that's the best one, then DLCs really were terrible. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. I can't even name very many. Whereas in Black Ops 2, we had... What did we have? We had to have some good DLCs. Uh, take off. I guess those are all remastered, though. Uh, Nevertheless, Black Ops yeah, 2 I had better maps, for sure. Maps. For sure. But Black... Standoff. That's not a DLC, yeah. I guess. <laughs> no. but never... oh. Black Ops 3 looked really good as well. You gotta give that credit. And they were both good. I did not like Black Ops Four. <sighs> Black Ops Four was a huge letdown because we all wanted it to be Black Ops Three, and then we got Black Ops Four, and it mm -hmm. it was Black Ops Three. It was just a Command C, Command V of Black Ops Three, but it was just worse somehow. So much worse. I didn't even like the uh, the battle royale in it. No, I didn't either. And then there was no campaign, so that probably made you sad. Maybe. Yeah, I I usually like playing the campaign. You can tell a lot about a game by its campaign. Mm -hmm. I suppose. I need, again, I need to do that sometime. And then zombies came, and I haven't even played half the zombies maps in Black Ops Four. To be honest. Yeah, I bought I bought the season pass, and I think I downloaded, I downloaded the first DLC map, and then I never played again. Yeah, <laughs> it's that's tough. I don't know. It's it's just because they removed the perk system. I think to be honest. Yes, I hundred percent agree. That was such a terrible decision. And it led to Black Ops Four, which is it's just a rip. It was it was not a good game. They took the nostalgia out of zombies, which is basically what zombies is all about. Yeah, pretty much. And honestly, is Black Ops Four like the worst COD ever? No, no, I don't. It's think gotta be so. close. It's gotta be close though. Because like, I think one of the infinite infinite warfare. That game was so good. No, don't put that below BO4. Is it oh, Advanced Warfare? It was oh. Advanced Warfare. That game was bad. Which one came? <clears throat> which one came first, Advanced or Infinite? Advanced. Yeah, I know. Advanced Warfare is the first one that implemented exosuits. Yeah, I think Infinite Warfare's campaign was weird. I, people say it was good. I don't know. I was flying around in space. <laughs> people said there's like a sad ending though. It's got some good music. I've used it in a couple videos. <laughs> So again, I didn't play it, so I guess I don't really know. But I, don't, 
I don't like the disrespect you're putting on Advanced Warfare. I think I think Black Ops Four is worse than Advanced Warfare. Like, People hated Ghosts, but I actually really liked Ghost. I never played Ghosts. That's the thing. I might have, but not enough to remember it. So I guess I don't really know if it's earned all the hate. It reminds me of like modern. It actually does remind me of modern warfare, just not as clean as modern warfare is. Like why, the newest one. Why do people even hate it so much? <clears throat> Wasn't it like the score streaks or something? You had like a dog follow you around. Is that about it? I don't even know what people complained about. But I don't know either. For some reason, I think the snipers were really good in that, and they didn't ever nerf them. <laughs> and then I bet I was listening to like the Smith plays. He said that the maps were terrible, so that could be it. That doesn't help. I'll believe that. That's I'll a, believe that. That's a current problem we're facing in modern warfare, but yeah, I, I don't know. I know the uh, the alien or the uh, survival with the aliens. Yeah, that uh, was yeah. like yeah. A, a meh. That was a, meh. a lot of people. I should. I bet if like if we all went back and played that right now, we'd probably have fun though. Probably. I don't know what it's called. Um, I, oh Jesus! That that's uh, two like on the Xbox 360. That's two full discs you have to re-download. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. like four or five hours of just oh, letting God. the disc do its thing it's not worth it for ghosts <sighs> no and i don't know why we all hated it because like we've never had a bad cop before ghosts we all loved them and then all of a sudden ghost comes out and we just all hated it for some reason and <laughs> if anybody else knows they made a parody of let it go called i hate ghosts <laughs> <laughs> that music video was so good <laughs> somebody else has to know that out there but yeah. The campaign was weird on that too. Like at the end, like the campaign was fine until the end, where you like shoot the big boss guy with a, a magnum, and you it goes through the the boss guy into your brother, <laughs> and then the train submerges, oh. and like you barely get out of there, like you almost drowned. Oh. You carry your brother out of there, and then that boss guy comes back up on the shore and kidnaps your brother, <laughs> and throws him in a hole, and it's like what? So they were trying to build up to the sequel to the part two. It and never they, happened. And they failed miserably. I would, it's the sad thing is I would have bought the second one just to finish the campaign so I could have really? like story com oh, story completion. God. So you wanted to know. You didn't think it was stupid then you wanted to know what was next after that. I thought it was pretty finger. stupid but I just wanted like the ending. <laughs> See what happened. Yeah. Well, That's why I still watch it's... kid movies. <laughs> it's probably for the best that we didn't get ghost number two. Probably. <laughs> People would have just not even bought it. That would have been a terrible idea. Yeah. But anyways, enough hating on ghosts because I don't even remember it. <laughs> what is <laughs> the best zombies map of all time? Of all time? Of all time. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna hate me for this one. Oh my I God. I really truly enjoyed Mob of the Dead. Yeah, that's fine. I'd put that at like second. I don't know how that could be better in Origins, though. How's that better in Origins? I just like Origins was fun. Mm -hmm. I just Mob of the Dead was better for me. I liked Mob of the Dead more. I liked the guns. I liked the tomahawk. I liked everything about it. The setting, I suppose, is better. Yep. <sighs> yeah, for some people, the setting is cool want. for both. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. Black Ops or not Black Ops, but Origins is just so much better in my book because I don't know. It's really just the staffs that carry Origins, to be honest. I just I love mm -hmm. it. I love that the fact that you have four Wonder Weapons. Everybody can get one. We can upgrade them. And I don't even know what else there's to do on Origins. The Easter egg's pretty fun. I don't even know. Yeah, you got the uh, uh, what is it? The, uh, the G strikes. Panzer strikes. Is that what they're called? Yeah, the G strikes and the punches. I suppose there's, there's a lot of to do on there. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah, you go mob that. I'm gonna have to go with Origins, just like everybody else, just because. But <laughs> Der Eisendrock. Do you like Der Eisendrock? It was cool. I I never really. Like, I, like the bows are fun to use but like I never liked the process of like upgrading them or anything mm -hmm. it just wasn't fun for me Yeah, I, I did like uh, Gerard Crovey Gerard Crovey was amazing but yeah yeah, we get into that but going back to Dereisen Drock I, I really don't like it I just feel like it's just trying to be Origins and it's just not as good So I really, that's kind of what I think I don't like it really at all to be honest and some people just love it and put it at like the second best map ever but there's no way they they do that because of the wonder weapons. Yeah, but it's just trying to be origins, and it's not original. I don't like it. But moving on to Gord Crowby, then Gord Crowby was like perfect. Like I love it. The only thing that could have been better 
is the wonder weapons. Really? They hit a wall at like round 50. Okay, yeah, they do. We've been there before, guys. We had an error message on round 50 once when we were going for a high round attempt. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the dual wield. <laughs> we had two wonder weapons. Yeah, they basically are useless after round 50. Yeah. But but how many times are you going to be getting around 50 on Gorod? <laughs> yeah, most people don't like just sitting on the dragon command and. <laughs> yeah, and like, thing is with Black Ops, you can just go double pack a punch of weapon on the wall and get dead wire and just do that the whole game. You get to like round 70. It's so, true. So you don't even need one of weapons of Black Ops 3, which just kind of makes Black Ops 3 really easy. But yeah, which. Like, I went back and played some Black Ops 1 maps, and I thought it was just way more fun to have a lot more of a challenge. Whereas Black Ops 3 maps are just, they're all so easy. And. And. Hmm. All right, here we go, here we go. The favorite COD of all time. What do you got? Uh, of all time? Mm hmm. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it right now. What okay. Ah, uh, this is tough because I I like pieces about some games and some pieces I don't. I can't really give it to Modern Warfare because Warzone is its own game. <clears throat> uh, I think because you can download Warzone for free. You yeah. don't have to have Call of Duty. Oh really? I didn't even know that. So I can't give it to if 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 it was only really? a part of Modern Warfare, I would give it to Modern Warfare. Whoa. Warzone is so much fun. That's the best COD ever. Wow. But I think since it's not part of Modern Warfare, it's like you can have it as its own game. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna it give it to count. Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three and then Black Ops Two after. Or? Yes, probably, and then Modern Warfare. See, I I agree with you. I. I'm really struggling. Is Black Ops 3 better than Black Ops 2? But I just, I don't know. They're so close. They're equal, to be honest. So search I, and Destroy was so fun. Getting those six mans together. Oh, yeah. Black, Black Ops 3 Search 3. was great. And Black Ops 2 Search was great, though. So I don't even know. I think the experience I had with the Black Ops 3 is probably mm -hmm. why. Like, I didn't have the six mans for yeah. Black Ops 2. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so it does come down to personal experience. Like, if somebody had six mans of Black Ops 2, I bet that was a lot of fun, like Banos. He probably yep. loves Black Ops too. Yeah, same man. Everybody was grinding BO3. Yeah, it was very easy to get six people in a lobby easily, and we'd grind the banshees, six and man we'd, banshees. And we'd all get banshees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun, and the zombies community is popping. It was oh man, Black Ops Three was so good. All right, what was your first Call of Duty that you played? World at War. And it was um, three was the three sixty. On the 360, it was on the 360. But I, I got my 360, my first like console. I got it late, so like World at War. I think Black Ops One, and I think Black Ops Two was also out at the time. But World at War was the first one I got. Yeah, <laughs> and so I cheaper. joined the, yeah, the first multiplayer game I got into. I remember the screen was entirely pink and there was guys <laughs> flying around. I was like, whoa, when do I unlock that? Call of Duty's cool. <laughs> oh, has it really been being hacked for that long? Wow. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> I somehow got the zombies, all of the zombies maps for free too. Somebody just yeah. gave them to me. <laughs> no need to complain about that, I guess. I didn't really, I didn't really know that there was DLC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah. World at War. I think mine was what was it? Uh, Big Red One or Finest Hour on the PS2. <laughs> Those are like some of the first. So I'm pretty. I'm pretty OG. But so. Wow. What? <laughs> That's old. Those games are pretty old. I don't know how I got those, but your your favorite console? What do you got? Favorite console? Mm-hmm. You know, it's tough. I really, really enjoy the ps4 yeah but i think i'm gonna go older i think i'm gonna blow your mind when i say this i'm oh, gonna go with the gamecube the gamecube all right all right uh, that I, was my that was my GameCube. original you're picking that over like the xbox 360 and that stuff i think so i loved the games on the gamecube it was so much fun so that beats, i could go nintendo 64 that beats all the multiplayer aspects of the xbox 360 there's no better multiplayer than having a second controller on Super Smash Bros. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> All right. Well, you heard it here. Greeny doesn't like multiplayer. All right. That's Andrew. I'd definitely just go with the 360 just because, I don't know, we just used to grind that like every day in the summer. <laughs> and we really had nothing else to do. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to go on overall functionality and like oh, yeah, the suppose. most fun I had on them, I definitely, I, I'll give it to the PS4. Yeah. I think the PS4 is really good. PS4 is a really good console. It's so much better than the Xbox One, I've found out ever since getting the Xbox One. I never used the Xbox One. I just knew that like most of our friends had a PS4 or were going to get one. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm just going to go over with what most people have. Mm-hmm. What console are you going to get? Are you going to get the new console or are you calling her a career? I will get the new console. It comes <laughs> It comes out, what, this Christmas? Uh, nah, November, some, sometime around there. Yeah. Are you thinking? I think. Get the Xbox, please. Get the Xbox? It looks so much better. Oh, my. We got to switch. We got to tell everybody to get Xboxes this year. The problem is nobody's going to switch. So that's why I think I'm going to have to get the PS5. Well, you just got to tell people to switch. They'll do it. Because, like, the Xbox and then, One and then I got... or Xbox, whatever the new one, we're going to be able to play BO2 on that thing. Really? Yeah, I think so. They're going to have backwards compatibility again. Oh, God. So we can get BO2, BO3. We can get, like, all the old CODs and we can just play them all on one console. Oh, it's a hard decision, man. Because then I gotta set everything up again. <laughs> It'll be all right. I think you can have like three games playing at once as well on it. So what? I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a feature. <laughs> I've actually everything so I've fun. read has told me that the the Xbox is gonna be better this year. Yeah, we need to get it for sure. And they get DLC maps first. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, they're probably coming out at the same time now, but and like. I mean, cross-platform is going to probably be a thing on, like, all the games anyway, so... At the end of the day... Yeah, which... Yeah. I think I think that's a huge thing that everybody needs to understand now, is that, like, it doesn't really matter what console you get. The only thing that would it would give you is, like, PS5 exclusives and Xbox exclusives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose, like, Spider-Man and, like, Gears exactly. of War. Exactly. Yeah, like, somebody told me... I forgot about Gears. Someone told me they would buy a PS4 just for Spider-Man. I thought that was crazy because Spider Man's one of those games you play for like a week and then it's done. Never again. <laughs> you beat the campaign, it's over. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it's because of the story. I think the story is so well well designed in it mm -hmm. that yeah, everybody really just good. wants it. I played it. It was it was really good. But I played it for a week and I was done. So, yeah. But yeah, the Xbox. You're just not a completionist. <laughs> I beat the campaign. That's all I need. I don't need to play anything else. <laughs> The Xbox Series X, everybody. That's what we all got to get. I'm telling you. It's going to be better. As long as there's Minecraft, I can play anything. <laughs> Hopefully there's Minecraft. Imagine if they gave the announcement they won't have Minecraft on their console. I'd cry. They, I don't think anybody would buy it. <laughs> their sales would be terrible. <sighs> but yeah, that's 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 definitely the move this year. All right. Your favorite YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber? Who, who do you watch on YouTube? What are you into? You into the zombies uh, conspiracies? What are you into these days? I really don't you know, know, I really, for like overall enjoyment of videos, I really do like watching Markiplier. Markiplier? Yeah, I, I don't even watch him. Does he just play like every game? He, he, he does like, oh, he does a variety of things. There's, you know, gaming Sometimes there's just like little updates. He yeah, plays so. like scary games. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like watching him play. He's funny. I can relate right. to him. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. What are you, thoughts on PewDiePie? Eh. <laughs> just an ad. He's alright. <sighs> yeah, I think he's, he's pretty good. I think he's, is he is he overrated? Does he deserve a hundred million? <sighs> Start the beat. Back back in the day, I could have seen it, but like now. I'm not trying to like hate on him or anything because he's still obviously very successful and he still makes a lot of good videos. But like, mm -hmm. I'd say he makes a good video every one in five now or like one that I enjoy. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know, man. Like him looking at memes and reviewing them, I find that to be very entertaining. <laughs> so, I do yeah. like that. I that's, do like that. That's every couple of videos. But yeah, PewDiePie, Markiplier, good stuff. The uh, big ones. Vanos, did you fall off with Vanos? Yeah. I yeah, really did. I also did as well. But I look at his channel, he still gets like a couple million views of video. So he's very consistent. But yeah, I'm sure he's still raking in 
a lot of money. Speaking of that, when are you going to start making money off the Gaming Ninja Turtles? Uh, our old channel, the Gaming Ninja Turtles, yeah. yeah. Um, this got to be getting close. Well, we almost reached the milestone. I think you have to get like a thousand subs before you start making money to sign up for AdSense or something like that. That's sad. So we were a little, <laughs> hey man, a little over halfway for being like seventh graders. That's not too bad. We almost got there. <laughs> but we failed. <laughs> That's all we wanted to do on that old channel. We were just like, oh man, we're, it's, Social Blade says we're going to make 50 bucks a year. <laughs> was, oh my, I swear it was only us watching those videos. I swear. Yeah, they, probably. They had like four likes. <laughs> <laughs> they really did. I mean, I liked it. You liked it. I don't know. Gaming Ninja Turtles probably <laughs> liked it. Yeah, I had two accounts at least. So, <laughs> yeah. No one watched those. But anyways. <sighs> now, yeah, now you're getting, what is it, 20 likes a stream mm. for Minecraft? Good about? stuff. It's actually good stuff. Yeah, having people watch the streams is fun. I don't know. One of them got like 47 recently, but <laughs> it was like four hours long. So, stuff like that. I don't know, four hours long, 47 likes. I'll take it. It's good stuff. Yeah. A lot of cool things going on on that world, too. Yeah, man. I love the randomness of it. There's just buildings everywhere. <laughs> Someday somebody's going to come by and grief everything, but you know what? The griefing will just make the world better. It'll make it even more random. <laughs> Do you have fire spreads off on that world as a yeah, setting? TNT and fire spread is off. <laughs> it wasn't for the first episodes, though, so somebody could have slid in and done that. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's safe now. It's all safe. If somebody could just literally break a glass block at our house and ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your house is like perfectly symmetrical and just, you can't underwater. It, yeah, it's also underwater as well. <laughs> that could be a problem. <laughs> but yeah, it's good stuff. I'm probably gonna go live tonight. You gonna you gonna get in there? Uh, yeah, I gotta finish a couple papers and then I will for sure. Oh Jesus! Yeah, I should probably be doing that too. I really took the week off last week from school to be you could just go sit inside and load up the server and then invite a bunch of people a couple of, every once in a while and yeah. let them grind of course that'd be pretty boring to watch yeah i suppose that wouldn't be the best live stream but oh man <laughs> oh yeah how have you been doing with online school i've really not been grinding at all uh i, think of it. I most people probably try to get all their stuff done like the first couple days mm -hmm. that they get their assignments i don't I, I do I do them as they're due, mm -hmm. just because I want something to do for the entire week, so I don't play games for like twelve hours a day. Mm -hmm. I can't find like any motivation to do any schoolwork when it's all online. So I'm gonna be honest. I have a lot of things that are late right now, and I don't know why. I just don't have the motivation to get them done <laughs> for some reason. All I, I want to do is play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I've got other priorities here. <laughs> That's what Mr. Hack said. He's like, some of you guys school secondary right now, and you got other things going on. Like Minecraft. <laughs> exactly. He's just gotta they just gotta understand. So at least Mr. Hack understands. <laughs> I mean maybe he was he might not have been talking about video games, but hey, he understands. School's a second secondary priority right now. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, it actually is. I had to fill out scholarships and stuff too, and like scholarships is like actually money. And I was I was like, I'm either gonna finish my homework or I'm gonna fill out these scholarships. And so I guess I filled out scholarships because I'm like <laughs> I can handle a couple of uh, bad grades, and I can't handle having no money. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Thoughts on Fortnite, what it used to be, what it is now, the current state. Because, like, for me, OG Fortnite was, like, one of the best games ever. Would, would you I think that? I think competitive gaming ruined Fortnite. Well, yeah, the, it's the sweats, definitely. I think everybody agrees with that, yeah. And then they added bots, which I can see why they did it, oh. but they're bots and they're bad. Yeah, that ruined it even more. That removed the satisfaction from killing people because half the time exactly. they're bots, so there goes half the game. Like, you drop 30 kills in a Fortnite game, it used to be like, holy, but now it's like, uh, yeah. eh, 15 of them were bots. Yeah, I hate that decision so much. So what would you say the current state is in? Is it just decent? Is it terrible? What do you think? You know, last time I played Fortnite was when we made that video. Oh, and that even like while playing show. it, mm. even while playing it, I was like, it's just not what it used to be. No, not Where's at all. Flush Factory? I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that was my first ever drop with you and Bracken, was it? Yep. Flush and we Factory. Won. And we won. <laughs> that was good stuff. And if they ever brought Flush back, that would, like, I'd probably play the game. A just to bit. see it 
Yeah, just to land there. See it one more time. They better not ruin it though and add a bunch of crap to it. I just want flush. But yeah. Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't like. It tried to be Minecraft. It tried to replace Minecraft in my heart, and it almost did for a while. It almost did, but then yeah. Minecraft came back. Yeah, Minecraft always comes back. <laughs> That's the thing about that game. We always come back to it, just like Clash Clans. I always... It's fun, like, it's fun for, like, like two weeks, and then you're like, I've played too much <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah. And then... But then, like, two weeks later, you're like, hmm. I have so much more to do. And then you come back, and you have a whole <laughs> new ideas. And then you get those done, and then the cycle continues. But yeah, that's... Bedrock is very glitchy, unfortunately. Yeah, like the the interfaces, the user interface is so laggy, and the menus, and yeah, I think oh, it, I know like it looks better than Java, but it's like ugh. I know for like our zoo, like we wanted to, we wanted like I said we wanted to capture every animal. Yeah. But yeah. unfortunately, we can't breed sea turtles. Uh, they don't. They don't breed in bedrock. I think they have to be on like the beach that they spawned at to breed. They, like if they spawn right in front of you and you breed them, they don't lay eggs. Yeah, give give them time. <laughs> no, I don't know. I I don't know because I really because now we can't get a sea turtle helmet or the the seashell helmet or whatever. I don't know what that thing does, but yeah, I know what it is. It just helps you breathe underwater. Now let's go. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like and, just, and things like that and the leg there's uh, there's way more leg in it now than there ever was yeah i suppose yeah mm -hmm. all right all right we're, we're moving away from the video games oh, oh god we're okay. moving on okay. to ask reddit because this is where we go when, oh when geez. we need to kill stuff we got about 10 minutes left in the pod we got 10 minutes till we reach an hour and one minute so if we want to ask some ask reddit questions and answer them the first question all right all right the human race dies out all of us die out what animal becomes the new dominant species? What, what I, you? ooh, like, I'm gonna go with tortoises. Tortoises. They are the Denial. or it could be alligators too, but they're so much older, and I think that they're just gonna they, they're just gonna go off. They're not that high up on the food chain, are they? I don't know. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if they can hide in their shell. Yeah, how do you eat a tortoise? I guess. Yeah. And kind of break the shell and i don't know if right. i don't know if i don't know if animals could do it it could bite its limbs off i guess but <laughs> maybe i was thinking like insects what if insects took over that'd be disgusting cockroaches i mean there's there's a lot of them how many are there per per, per person are there like a couple million per person or something there's a, ants oh my god that'd be, that'd be <laughs> disgusting ants oh. yeah i'm going with insects you're going with tortoises All right. do you have any scary stories any scary stories you've ever heard or experienced or anything off the top of your head um there's this forest down in south dakota and you can't see any sunlight when you go into it mm -hmm. and we went driving through there and it's like it's not like a real road like it starts as a paved road and then it like goes to a gravel road yeah and you get in there and your GPS quits working. You lose all phone service. <laughs> mm -hmm. And when you do eventually get out of there, yeah, it doesn't work for like another two hours. Any of your stuff, <laughs> kind of like the Bermuda Triangle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are there stories of people getting lost in those woods? In those yes. Floors? Oh, well, yes. It is the Bermuda Triangle. It, it, it <laughs> is on. Um, it is on re reservation land. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, yeah. That, that makes it a little more sketchy, to be honest. So, yeah, yeah, just like you hear all their, you know, the, the, the tribal stories and whatnot. And... They're probably taking <laughs> people, sacrificing them or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> something like that. But yeah. Uh, all right. You have 100 minutes left of internet time for 2020. How do you use it? Only 100 of minutes. 2020? For the rest of the year. You have 100 oh, minutes to be online. Uh, <laughs> memes. Memes. <laughs> I need I need to I need to hang on to those memes. <laughs> hundred minutes of browsing memes. I mean, like, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Let's see. <sighs> hmm. Do you know any stupid or funny jokes? <laughs> That's what this. One says. Uh, not off the top of my head, or oh, that are appropriate. Uh, say it. <laughs> um. Knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> what? 
Did you forget the joke? No, I just dinked on ditched you, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was well executed. All right, yeah, I like it. All right. <laughs> How would you feel if you were suddenly turned into a female? Like, what would be? Uh, what, what would be your first? Ooh, um. Would you just? I mean. I'd be like, whoa! I don't even know. I'd probably that, just go into that's... like the. It's one of those questions where you just don't know unless it happens. Exactly. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it is I, happening I nowadays. Good. Some people think it's happening nowadays. I mean, you, you could be a female if you want, Greeny. <laughs> oh, t- touchy subject. Okay, anyways, uh, next question. <laughs> Your favorite video game quote? Um, Tactical nuke inbound. <laughs> is, that a game? is that tactical nuke incoming? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you're right. Whatever. Anyway. Tactical nuke incoming. I was expecting something deep from like a zombie's character or something, and you just tactical nuke incoming. <laughs> Ooh, if, if you could choose how you would die, what would you pick, and why? I'd want to go out in like a blaze of glory, like a gunfight. <laughs> I would just say my sleep. <laughs> I mean, if I it's better if I just don't know what's coming. So I just feel like I just I just want to die in my sleep. But all right, it's a gunfight. Not fight. as cool. And yeah, I guess it's not as cool, <laughs> but I mean. <laughs> That's what happened. <sighs> yeah. Oh, how might a person achieve world domination? Where do you start for that? Media. Yeah. If you can get enough people to believe you, you can do anything. Yeah, I suppose. Make some allies and then turn on them. Me and Nacho were talking about that once because our one of our goals in the back of our mind is total world domination. We don't what know if we're going to be able to achieve that, but. No, just in life. Like our goal, we were gonna like be Fred North Korea or something, and then <laughs> start nuking. Because then China's on our side too. And then we were. I don't gonna... think anybody's on North Korea's side anymore. <laughs> hey, the Chinese might be. I don't know. But yeah, we were just gonna start making allies with all those guys, and then turn on them. <laughs> that was that was our goal. <laughs> Ooh, if you could see people react to your death, would you want to see people either sad, yes. happy? <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> see people after you die. Like I don't know who wouldn't. Rejoice. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Let's see, does anybody say no to this? No, everybody, everybody wants to. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Mm. What if we never found aliens because of Delta? No, that's too deep. <laughs> all right. Well, we're sitting at 57 and a half minutes. So if I could find one more question to answer, that's it. That's all we need. You can do this. It's time to clutch up. All right. What's a second installment of a movie that's better than the first? Uh, I really... Ooh. Um, <sighs> well, I like Thor Ragnarok more than the first two Thor movies. Yeah, never watched any of them. So <laughs> we'll go with that. That's my answer for that one. All right. I, I don't even know, man. I can't even name a movie series that I've watched. Oh, jeez. Uh, Paranormal Activity. Kitties George. There we go. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Kitties George. <laughs> I used to grind that show, so maybe. <sighs> All right. Well, that should be about it. If you he, if he could bring a person back from the dead, who would it be and why? One person out there. Anybody? Who's oh, dead? oh. Bring them back. Oh. Who do we got? Um somebody that died oh kobe bryant (laughs) bring kobe back i'd bring kobe back play one-on-one with him i'd challenge him to a game of (laughs) one-on-one yeah i suppose i could see that it was either him or um abraham lincoln abraham lincoln (laughs) that'd be interesting just to talk to him (laughs) or what I don't know. He would be, God, he'd be confused, man. Just let, him, let him do his thing. He would know where he'd be. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so interesting to see people like from like 100 years ago just like trying to use phones and stuff. That'd be interesting. I wonder if like we could like if we like if we ever in if we ever figure out how to time travel and we just like randomly like in the middle of the Civil War just send like an iPhone back. <laughs> <laughs> man, just think the communication iPhones could have that could really help in the Civil War. Think about it. Could have helped in a lot of wars. Yeah, and also the like military technology stuff we have nowadays, that that could also help if we could send some of that back. But yeah, I, I, when we say help, would it have really made things better or just bloodier? 
Um, well, it depends if both sides have it. It's a lot bloodier. But if one side <laughs> has it, it's over in like a day. If one side has our military stuff that we have today. It's, it's true. So, yeah. Yeah. That's our answer. All right. We are at exactly one hour. Perfect. And with these podcasts, I go for an hour and one minute. So let's stall for the last 50 seconds here. <clears throat> that was the Spinify Podcast, episode number seven with OMG at Screenmeyer. Thanks for coming on, dude. Lifelong friend. And who's yeah, down. thanks for having me. Yeah. And if you ever want to come back on, I'm down. It'll be a couple of weeks. But yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm always ready to do something, especially when I only have 10 hours to game every single day. <laughs> I suppose. And maybe in a year we can come back and see if you achieve your goals and we can get an update or something. But yeah, sounds good to me. It's good stuff. So, as we sit here for the last twenty seconds, um, anything you want to say to the people? Um, you know, when you're when you're ever wondering what what you want to do with your life, I just want you to take a moment, take a deep breath, and ask yourself: Has twenty seconds passed yet? So we can end the video. It hasn't. Three. Two, one. I, anyways, no. thank you guys so much for watching. That was been, <laughs> you were very close, though. Right? Thank you guys so much. That was episode seven. If you want to come on, leave a comment. I'll get you on here. Thank you, Greeny. Thank you, everybody for Namaste. listening. Namaste. Namaste. Good stuff. All right. Peace out.